10 Fintech Trends for 2022-2023 In this era of COVID-19, the financial technology, fintech, sector, like every other, is transforming and dealing with specific issues of its own. In this video we will discuss about 10 fintech trends for 2022-2023. Be prepared for even more radical changes in the financial sector if you still can't get your mind around the thought of getting everything from groceries to your newest gadget online. Simply said, anything that involves money, from payment to banking, will be impacted by these fintech developments. Blockchain is about to dominate the scene and advance the functionality of digital wallets. If rules, security, and national standards are in place, nations will be pleased to adopt all these amazing technologies. Here are the top 10 trends. Number 10. Banking that only exists online is imminent. The financial world is quick to take notice when a bank that only exists in the virtual world provides global payments, P2P transfers, contactless MasterCard with no transaction costs, and the opportunity to buy and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies. And take note of what Revolut did. One of the digital-only banks competing for customers' dollars and membership is Revolut. Along with many others, it is joined by Moven, Maniz, Hello Bank, First Direct, and the appropriately titled Digibank, the financial brand, 2021. Number 9. Blockchain's Transformation of Global Finance Blockchain is still on track to completely alter how all financial transactions are conducted around the world. It is quick, truly global, and has cheap processing costs. Over the next 10 years, it could increase the global economy to $1.76 trillion, with China $440 billion and the US $407 billion, earning the most from the technology, PwC, 2020. The banking sector dominates when it comes to the industry with the biggest dispersion of blockchain market value, holding a 29.7% share. The following are professional services, 6.6%, discrete manufacturing, 10.9%, and process manufacturing, 11.4%. IDC, 2020. The enthusiastic rush by investors to expand the use of blockchain services is, of course, readily matched by the growing number of users who have adopted blockchain wallets, which now number 40 million globally, Statista, 2021. To put things into perspective, that was only 11 million in 2016. Another PwC report predicts that 2025 will mark the turning point in the widespread use of blockchain technologies across all major economies. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues, tracking and tracing goods and services is currently a key focus for many businesses. Number 8. Financial institutions are ideally suited for AI. It is not surprising that banks are the first to adopt AI given that their revenues consistently outpace national incomes. Banks are now developing their AI solution methods further. This will accelerate the sector's wider deployment of AI. Around 2030, AI is anticipated to cut bank operational costs by 22%. This could result in future savings of $1 trillion. However, getting there is not an easy journey. Banks, like the majority of other global businesses, are confronted with a dearth of experts in all things AI, Aid Allocate, 2019. According to recent HR statistics, AI professionals are simply the tip of the worldwide workforce iceberg. AI is well positioned to deal with the growing issue of financia. L fraud due to its capacity to work with unstructured data. Cyber crimes are on the rise. Number 7. Tightening up the regulation of fintech. One of the most strictly regulated industries in the world is the financial one. Governments from all around the world will pay more attention as a result of blockchain's entry. With a string of financial breaches that make headlines, countries should be uneasy, Data Insider, 2019. No one would argue that security is a top issue regardless of the type of financial services, even. Though blockchain investors will gripe about rules that weren't made for them in the first place. The issue of data ownership is one that regulators would attentively examine in the era of digital banking. 
Each nation will go at its speed in addressing this issue. The ideal result would be a set of federal regulations that are thorough. Enough to assuage the concerns of both corporations and consumers. Number 6. Innovations in Payments. Fintech payment innovations come in a variety of forms. These include identity verification technologies, contactless payments, mobile wallets, smart speaker systems, artificial intelligence, and machine learning for security. According to data from 2020, the emergence of mobile payments is the biggest trend in payment technologies, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic when more transactions went online, Payments Journal, 2020. Mobile payments, however, are not limited to internet purchases. By 2022, it is anticipated that there will be over 2.7 billion in-store transactions, increasing the value of global e-commerce to over $5.4 trillion, PayVision, 2020. Number 5. From adversaries to partners. We noted that upstart digital-only banks will probably run across customer issues. They will also undoubtedly return to the financial regulations, which they will find to be too complex to understand. Established banks and other financial institutions will be examining the technology advancements that the startups are bringing to the table in the meanwhile. They have already had a significant impact on the markets and would do anything to upend the global financial sector. Who will then blink first? Old and new players alike provide something that the other lacks. Number 4. Moving forward with substantive inclusion. Fintech holds up great promise for both governments and individual customers. There is only one issue, how do socioeconomic groups that have relied only on cash for financial transactions in the past be integrated? Without careful planning, the fintech industry would drive already marginalized players further from the mainstream. They appeal to key players and governments to find a solution that strikes a balance since they are lost in a sea of suspicion against emerging technologies. The founding of the Alliance for Financial Inclusion AFI, which is itself a follow-up to the Maya Declaration, is a practical step towards ensuring that fintech does not exclude significant portions of society as it quickly transforms the world economy. Number 3. Launching a fintech startup. It's simple to get sucked into the boom in company endeavors. There is no exception to the lava-hot reception that finance startups are receiving. However, if you're eager to enter the field, hold off on barging just yet. Why? Fintech firms were already having trouble getting finance, as have noted, even before the outbreak. This is because investors won't hurry to the bargaining table with you. They want to ensure that you have your company fundamentals in the right order the first time. Since they have seen a lot of action in the field, not all of it positive. They are focusing their keen eyes on later stage projects that have demonstrated some market traction. Early stage fintech won't receive the same positive response as their more established rivals. Due to the change in mindset among venture capital sources. Number 2. The fintech revolution will be led by China. Fintech has penetrated every area of the financial services industry, including wealth management, lending, and payment. There are collaborators and assailants in the fintech industry all around the world. But as things stand right now, China merely stands out as the best among equals in many areas. One nation will unquestionably predominate the rest if you listen to any fintech conversation anywhere in the world, China. And for now, it's challenging to compete with China's dominance in practically all fintech sectors. The Chinese fintech juggernaut should come as no surprise given that the country has more. Internet users, 800 million, 98.6% of whom use mobile, than any other nation in the globe. Including the US, Russia, Mexico, and Japan put together. Remember that China is the global leader in e-commerce as well, SIFMA, 2019. In contrast to the U.S. is $343.15 billion, its e-commerce sector is estimated to be worth $1.9 trillion U.S. dollars in 2019. Number 1. Smart contracts bring everything together. Smart contracts simply digitalize trust in a way that makes transactions strong, safe, and 
enforceable anywhere, without delving into the complex technological, legal, and philosophical foundations of contracts. Fintech is the vehicle that makes it possible for fintech to advance. Think about two parties who consent to engage in any transaction. In the past, they would hire a lawyer to draft the contract's provisions on two pieces of paper. Would then invite witnesses to confirm that the signees faithfully fulfilled their obligations. Under the agreement after that. Any violations will result in them being subject to any resulting legal action. Do you like this video? Submit your feedback in our comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos.